Welcome everyone to UWI's presentation of Graduate Ceremony 2022. My name is Roger Bain and what you're seeing unfolding on the screen now is uh, the procession of the graduates um, and uh, an impressive array of graduates uh, this afternoon coming in from the Faculty of Social Sciences. We will talk a little bit more because as we focus on them. Closer. Uh, we will um, get a little bit of a view on the different areas of discipline within the Faculty of Medical Sciences. And so even though you will see that the hood is generally purple. Please note that um, there are different, subtle differences that will be coming through uh, as you see them closely and up front. So we will share some of those with you, some slight little differences, but for the most part, purple is the color, and that is what you'll see on the hood of uh, the graduates, generally in blue, the standard color for graduates, and the subtle difference that you will note uh, is the hood that separates the faculties. So if you see several graduations over the period, you will begin to see uh, the difference uh, that um, the hood makes in that kind of uh, distinctiveness. The graduates are coming in, and we will share with you over time uh, the running order leading all the way up uh, to the start of the official program. Uh, just to share with you, uh, you know, this is UWI's presentation ceremony and um, the UWI as an institution is recognized internationally and rooted in the Caribbean. Since 1948, uh, this university has provided service and leadership in its mission to advance sustainable development for the survival of the Caribbean economy and society. Uh, the graduates taking their positions there, uh, you can imagine the excitement the feeling of accomplishment. This is the culmination for many of them of four to five years of work. Uh, the sacrifice they would have gone through over all these years, so many of them possibly frustration, but at this moment, all of those things are past. They're focused now on this huge momentous achievement and they are putting their best selves forward huge graduation undertaking. This is the first of five that the UWI will host over the next couple of days, today, Friday, and Saturday. And over 4,000 graduates. Just some more notes as we watch our graduates on uh, the UWI. Of course, as an institution, uh, the ranking is very important. Any institution of worth, rank makes a difference. And it is ranked among the top universities globally by the Times Higher Education uh, ranking. And this is one of the most reputable ranking in the world. It is the only Caribbean-based university to make such a prestigious ranking. And it, this ranking was debuted in 2018. It is also ranked in the top 25 in Latin America and the Caribbean. And it's also featured among leading universities uh, according to the 
times higher educational ranking. We're seeing graduates taking their position. Still a lot more graduates to come, but we're seeing them beginning to take formation at the moment. Of course, the normal UWI expectation is for the females to wear white and the men are expected to turn up in dark formal clothing. As I said before, as well, you wouldn't have known, but it's been a rainy afternoon here uh, for, the, for the last couple of minutes. It's been pouring. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see that based on the calm of the graduates. But I'm sure it was a little bit touch and go for so many of them traveling from across the island to be here this afternoon. But in true, true UWI style, they have made it and they're here. You can see the smiles and faces. All veering expressions. Underlying them all, pride. This is not just a moment for the graduates. There's a whole host of support system that would have accompanied this moment. So you're seeing uh, parents coming in. At some point, I'm sure, in the program will get a little bit of a glimpse of the parents and their celebration. We look forward to that kind of moment when family gets uh, to see the graduate walking across the stage. Those who are part of single parent homes, some of them are spouses and head of homes themselves. And this is a big moment and a moment for example. So it's something we cherish. The advent of television now also affords uh, the luxury of finding it years to come. In time past, we would always just reflect on a, on a picture, you know, on a picture frame. But technology now allows us to see it in live motion and to store that. So it can be a motivating factor for siblings and, uh, and a younger generation. UWI is one of only two regional universities in the world, right? And it covers some 2.8 million square kilometers of sea from Belize in Central America to Trinidad and Tobago in the Southern Caribbean. It speaks to the length and breadth of the UWI and the kinds of services it offers uh, the region. Its program is international in scope, but has a unique Caribbean focus, which makes UWI an ideal educational institution for local, regional, and international students. The UWI offers over 800 certificate diploma, undergraduate, and postgraduate degree options in a range of areas. Those areas range from culture, creative and performing arts, food and agriculture, engineering, humanities and education, law, medical sciences. The faculty we are focusing on today, science and technology, social sciences, and of course, the newest of the lot, sport. These programs are delivered face-to-face -face 
online as well as through some other franchise arrangements with community colleges and other tertiary institutions. If you're just joining us, you are looking at the presentation of graduates for the Faculty of Medical Sciences. And within the Faculty of Medical Sciences, we have a number of disciplines. Uh, some of them we'll share with you as time goes by, uh, because sometimes we don't know that within the Faculty of Medical Sciences, we have a host of other areas of specialization. Uh, we have the uh, medicine, the Bachelors of Medicine and Surgery, but that's called MBBS, and that's uh, for uh, medical doctors. We have um, Doctor of Dental Surgery, uh, the dentist. We also have um, pharmacy. We have uh, BSc in uh, medical, basic medical sciences. Uh, also, we have a Bachelor of Science in Diagnostic Imaging and Nursing, a very popular one as well. There's also Physical Therapy that's within uh, the Faculty of Medical Sciences. And as we mentioned before, each of them has their own subtle mark on that hood. So you will see white lines, you may see yellow lines, uh, all making their distinction on that uh, purple hood that is predominantly Faculty of Medical Sciences. So based on some, I think we just saw a bold uh, white uh, slash a while ago. And that would have been nursing. So you can identify the nurses because they will have the white slash or the white, in, the white mark that is indicative of uh, their specialization. Uh, for the MBBS, they are all purple. There is no exceptional distinction there, uh, meaning no extra stripes, etc., just the purple. For dentistry, there's also just the purple. And for pharmacy, it's just the purple. But uh, for basic medical sciences, you will see a yellow strip um, on the hood. For uh, diagnostic imaging, there is a yellow stripe on the hood. And we spoke to nursing, as well as for physical thera th therapy, there is a uh, yellow stripe on the hood. We are being entertained by uh, the UWI's uh, Panorhythm Steel Orchestra. You will also hear later on from the UWI singers, uh, two outstanding societies uh, within the UWI. Uh, been around uh, for quite a while and we look forward to this kind of tradition at graduation. When we hear from uh, the Panorhythm Steel Orchestra as well as from the UWI Singers. Uh, they are a part of the prelude and they will be playing throughout uh, the procession of the graduates. As a premier institution within the region, you can imagine, uh, look at those faces, absolutely happy, elated to be here. Hard work would have paid off. Uh, I can just imagine uh, having been in that position at some point in my career. I can almost feel the excitement and the pride but with the amount of graduates that we're seeing today, you can also imagine that we have 
an impressive uh, alumni, right? The network of more than 237,000 alumni. There is no sector of the Caribbean society, including the highest levels of government and business, in which our graduates are not found, right? So we have over 25 uh, graduates, over 25 alumni who have risen to become heads of government or head of, heads of state and countless are leaders of all professions. And another bunch of graduates will take their place now in the world to add to the already impressive list of graduates. Within this same cohort, our future heads of state and leaders of corporations. We also boast two of the three Nobel laureates of the Caribbean. That's Derek Walcott and also former Vice Chancellor Sir Arthur Lewis. Derek, Derek Walcott. In 1992, he got a prize, a Nobel Prize for Literature. And in 1979, Sir Arthur Lewis won the Nobel Prize for Economics. So we're still observing the procession of graduates. This is the Faculty of Medical Sciences first of five graduation exercises that will take place. Tomorrow we'll have two graduations, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and on Saturday we have same. UWI prides itself in being more than just an institution for learning, but it's also an activist university and has been a pivotal force in every aspect of Caribbean development. It's been the center of all efforts to improve the well-being of its people. And some of our well-known regional activists would have passed through the UWI at some point or another. Many of them would have served uh, in student leadership on the Guild of Students. We'll also see the Guild of Students featuring a little later on uh, when uh, the procession for the uh, academic staff uh, comes into play. So. We are coming almost to the close of the procession for the graduates. And this will be followed shortly by the procession of uh, the academic staff. As it relates to uh, the students and the graduates, you will be hearing from Dana Palmer, and she is the valedictorian uh, for the class of 2022 uh, for the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Uh, she hails from Linstead and is a past student of the Immaculate Conception High School. Uh, she is now a medical doctor. And she had to commute for almost two years to and from uh, the institution, but uh, her bio data says she was involved in extracurricular, extracurricular activities. Uh, and even with all that work and effort, 
still shun. We are now seeing uh, the PhD graduates coming in. These are persons who would have achieved their specialization. So in addition to their five years, many of them would have had to give another three years or another five years in the field of medicine to be walking in these red gowns. We're also now seeing uh, the academic staff procession Coming up shortly, along with the academic staff, the academic staff procession that would have seen unfolding on screen. Our, this is the academic staff. Correction, these are the PhD candidates, PhD students, not the academic staff, for the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Uh, the academic staff will process shortly, and this will be followed by the marshals, the Guild of Students, the UWI Alumni Association, Jamaica chapter, members of that chapter, as well as the University and Campus Council. So again, these are the PhD candidates within the Faculty of Medical Sciences. We are still awaiting the procession for the uh, for the academics. I think here goes the the the, 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 the marshal, and we now have uh, the procession of the uh, academic staff coming in. So we would have focused a, a while ago on um, the the valedictorian. We also have the honorary graduate, and that is Dr. Rosemary Moody. We will hear some more about her a little in a little while. Uh, Dr. Rosemary Moody will also. Uh, look forward to seeing the Guild of Students coming in. So for the most part, uh, the graduates are seated. That part of the procession would have ended. And what we're waiting on now is the next grouping to come. So we mentioned before that those persons who are part of the academic procession would be the marshals, uh, the Guild of Students, the UA Alumni Association, uh, Jamaica chapter, as well as the University and Campus Council. Those persons will make up the academic procession that will be uh, coming at any minute. Of course, uh, the Guild of Students, members of the Guild of Students, because the Guild President is the mace bearer and she will come with the 
uh, Chancellor's party. So, again, the culmination of a whole lot of work and a whole lot of effort. This is the first of five graduation here at the UWI. Over 4,000 graduates are expected to pass through the institution in the next couple of days. And you can see also the beautiful setup in the in the tent, which is one of our major space for meeting and for holding ceremony. And beautiful colors, all the colors here representing uh, the university, its regional significance. We also see the flags uh, of the different contributing countries uh, displayed on the platform. A little bit of an update on uh, the honorary graduand, uh, Rosemary Moody. Uh, in 2018, Rose, Dr. Rosemary Moody, uh, she's a Jamaican-born UWI uh, alumna and Senator the Honorable. So she became the first pediatrician to be appointed to the Senate of Canada a recognition of her outstanding public service and professional contributions in the field of medicine. She has also devoted her career to advocating for women and children in particular. Her work has focused on reducing health disparities. She has served on non-profit boards in health, in education, and social development. She's also served as the president and board chair of the YWCA Toronto. Uh, so quite a large body of work. Uh, Dr. Rosemary Moody, she is going to be the honorary, honorary graduate. And you will hear uh, a little bit later on when the public orator speaks to her achievement. Uh, in the formal part of the ceremony. So the prelude, which is where we are now taking you through, includes the procession of the graduates, the procession of the academic staff, and the procession of the Chancellor's party. Uh, this is the nature of the ceremony. It's full regalia. It's university pomp and pageantry. It's really what we look forward to. Uh, in most institutions of, of worth, uh, we have this kind of celebration and these kinds of momentous moments, not to show off, but to just honor the legacy and the, uh, the importance of the moment. Appear that this is now the academic procession. And they are coming in 
from uh, the back, the side of the tent, really, marching to their their, their particular assigned area uh, to uh, the left of stage or to the right of stage, I think. From our vantage point, it will be to the left of stage. So it's depending on where it is you're looking from. But this is uh, the faculty procession. The academic procession, as we call it. A sea of red, seasoned with blues. Of course, you know that the red gown with uh, the black hood is, is indicative of uh, the PhD, which is the highest uh, award that we can give in an institution of study. A beautiful color. Thing before us now, of course, red on red, with a little bit of blue in it. And we can we also we're hearing in the background the beautiful soft strains of the Panorama Steel Orchestra. I am also saying that you will be hearing from the university singers in short order as well. But we are really now anticipating the arrival of the Chancellor's procession. And the Chancellor's procession We'll have the chief marshal, the campus registrar, the deans of faculties, the president of the UWI alumni chapter, Jamaica, and the university bursar, the public orator, and the university registrar. And we'll also see deputy principals and pro vice chancellors. The campus principal will be in that party. The honorary graduate, we spoke of her, uh, Dr. Rosemary Moody, the vice chancellor, chairman of the Mona Campus Council, the mace bearer, we spoke as well of uh, the Guild of Students. She is the president of the Mona Guild of Students. That's generally the case for the mace bearer. Uh, the guild president will uh, take on that responsibility and the final member of that party, of course is the chancellor. So having just seen the conclusion of the academic procession that included uh, members of the university family, which is really the Guild of Students, the Alumni Association, and the University Campus Council, we are now focused with bated breath uh, for the appearance of uh, the chancellor's procession. And of course, that will come with a different music, a different atmosphere. The academic staff would have entered from the side of the tent. The chancellor's party will enter from the entrance of the tent. So there is even a, a difference in terms of uh, where they're coming from. So uh, based on our vantage point, we'll be able to see the moment the doors open and we'll be able to see uh, the procession coming in. Uh, the chief marshal is going to be coming first, uh, followed by all the persons we spoke about, the registrar, the deans, uh, the UWI alumni president for Jamaica chapter, the university registrar, bursa, and of course we'll see the mace bearer, which is really our student representative, our chief student, who will be uh, representing us by bearing the mace. So we are now clearly anticipating it. If you notice, there is almost silence. The steel band would have stopped playing. Uh, 
and I think shortly coming up as well in that order uh, will be uh, the university singers as well as uh, the singing of the national anthem. The singing of the national anthem will happen just before the chancellor's part, the chancellor's procession. And when he and the team enters, So we're actually now at the point where the UWI, well, the university singers will be performing. So we've heard from the Panarhythm Orchestra, and now the university singers, world-renowned uh, for their artistry, beautiful singers and performers, and it's going to be a treat listening to them as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin our graduation ceremony, I would like to remind you of a few important matters. Could you please turn your cellular phones to silent, please? Please remember that the university provides an official photographer who will take photographs while the graduates are receiving their certificates. Graduates. Please be advised that instructions to access your photographs taken during this ceremony will be sent to you via email in due course. No unauthorized persons will be allowed to access the presentation area 
during the ceremony. The university shares in your pride at this graduation, but we appeal for restraint when the names are called so that all graduates may be able to hear their names clearly. Graduates and their guests are expected to remain for the duration of the ceremony. Please keep the aisles care at all times. Emergency medical service is available at the front, at the undercroft, and at the rear of the tent. As you will have observed, exit signs are clearly marked. You are asked to note the location of the nearest exit. In the case of any emergency, the ushers will guide you to the nearest assembly point. At the end of this ceremony, we ask family and friends to remain seated until the graduates procession has exited the tent. The area will be needed to be immediately prepared for our next graduation ceremony. We are therefore appealing to graduates, families, and friends to assist us by leaving the tent area as quickly as possible. You are welcome to celebrate outside. We wish you an enjoyable ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem. The national anthem will be performed by the university singers. Shortly, where we're looking at now that is empty, will be filled and we are seeing them arriving now. The 
chancellor's procession. As we have mentioned before, the order in which we are seeing them. Deans, principals, deputy principals, members of the Alumni Association, university orator, shortly see the mace bearer and there she comes with the mace now a strange thing that is followed by the chancellor whose gown of course is just golden and stunning the mace is a ceremonial mace because a mace other than that can be a tool it is highly ornamented and it is generally used in processions often uh, relating to parliament or formal academic occasions. So the UWI steeped in ceremony naturally would represent that kind of tradition. And this completes the procession. Shortly, we'll turn over to the formal part of the graduation. The next voice you will hear is the voice of the Chancellor, and he will begin the Chancellor's, or he will make the Chancellor's address. You're seeing the walk. And a slight change of entry. This year, they entered from the back all the way up. So it's a long walk as opposed to a brief walk. That is the bonus principal, Professor Dale Weber, with the honorary graduate. So, Dr. Rosemary Moody, and that is the guild president with the maids. The platform party has they have reached the platform and the mace is indicative of the official start. It is now in place. The function has now officially begun. It's a pleasure sharing with you but the next voice will be the voice of the chancellor welcome to the class of 2022 and your graduation celebration vice chancellor Professor Sir Hilary Beckles and Lady Beckles, Campus Council Chair, the Honorable Dr. Earl Jarrett, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the UWI Mona Campus, Professor Dale Weber and his wife, Professor Mona Weber, Deputy Principal, Professor Ian Boxhill, Pro Vice Chancellors and Principals, University Registrar, Dr. Maurice Smith, University Bursa, Ms. Andrea McNish, Campus Registrar, Dr. Donovan Stanbury, Honorary Graduate, Senator the Honorable Dr. Rosemary Modi, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the academic staff, officers, and members of the university community, distinguished alumni, valedictorian, Dr. Dana Palmer. Graduating class of 2022, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're as delighted to be here this afternoon as I am after several years of having to reorganize our graduation ceremonies, to deal with the 
COVID pandemic. A very well, warm welcome to the presentation of graduates for 2022. The lessons that we have learned over the last two years are allowing us to have a graduation ceremony somewhat changed, but certainly with physical contact with each other and as a community one together. You have a special distinction of having completed a significant part of your programs under rather trying circumstances. And I commend you all for staying the course. It is time to celebrate your hard work, and it is truly my honor and pleasure to greet you all here today on this special occasion. First, I ask that you thank the loved ones who have made the journey with you, your parents, partners, spouse, spouses, children. They have been here, they have been there while you burned the midnight oil to complete assignments and prepare for exams. You shared the confinement imposed by the COVID pandemic and the many frustrations that came with that together. This is a collective achievement for many of you, and I urge you to find ways to express your gratitude to your most ardent supporters and cheerleaders. Even as we celebrate your accomplishments, the question is, what next? Over the past two and a half years, we have seen our world change. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic showed us how much can and cannot be done online and the important role that information and communication technologies play in our daily lives. Our university pivoted to emergency remote treatment, teaching, <laughs> and I applaud the leadership and staff at all levels for their tremendous work to ensure that you completed your programs and graduated today. We saw the resilience of the virus as it mutated. We saw the response from, the global, from global citizens, resistance as well as a willingness to embrace the science and the vaccine to turn the tide on the virus. We saw the, we, the mixed response has led in part to our new normal, a cautious coexistence with COVID and the fervent hope that the worst of the pandemic is behind us. The pandemic also laid bare the social inequalities in our society and the governments around the world and at home in the Caribbean have been grappling to recover from this unexpected impact on the nas national economies. Economic recovery must take into consideration social issues, and our university and you, our graduates, have a role to play on how well our community and our countries thrive in this new normal. Then in February 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. This has far-reaching implications for global supply chains in our highly globalized world, as we have already seen. How well small developing countries, particularly those like our Caribbean countries, that have a high dependency on imports and of fossil fuels cope with the possibility of food insecurity 
rising prices of basic items, and increased unhappiness and uneasiness and deprivation among our citizenry. This will depend on the ability of our governments to apply principles of democracy in managing our countries. You, our graduates, represent all facets of Caribbean society. The responsibility for fostering and nurturing those democratic principles in our society are now your responsibility. That is not to say that you have to take up the role of government. Higher education plays a role in democratization of societies by encouraging graduates to think critically and to be objective in assessing information available, particularly in this age of alternative facts. To be open to new schools of thought provides us the hope that the information that you have received and received can be used for the advancement of the societies in which you live. Graduation is a time when those of us who are on this side of the ceremony view with enormous pride the procession of our graduates in many disciplines. The wondrous gathering of brilliance representing so much promise for the betterments of our societies. You have much responsibility to carry forward, but I have faith in you, in your determination to make a difference. I have alluded to the challenges you faced to complete your programs and make it to this day. You are strong, resilient, determined, and I am so proud of all of you. Many of you would be thinking of how you can convert your degrees into a career, or maybe promotion or a new job. What are the options available to you? Traditional careers have transformed and now encompass many exciting fields. Many of the professions today will not exist in 10 years' time. Entities such as Forbes magazine and the World Economic Forum have been tracking the trends in careers and making projections about areas that are fast growing and with high earning potential. Obviously, healthcare and medicine stand high among those. I challenge you to look forward and try and analyze the future as best you can to ensure that you place yourselves in roles that will create value for your societies as our countries develop and as technology drives us forward. What I ask of you in the future is that you be impactful in all that you do. Do it at a high to a high quality with a commitment not only to advancing yourself, but advancing those in the wider community. I think this is most important for you all who are in the healthcare profession. I urge you to be kind to yourself. We often forget the importance of taking care of our own health. In today's new operating environment, Mental health is as critical as physical well-being. You all are acutely aware of this. Hold fast to your dreams, but at the same time, remain rooted in reality. Respect those that have gone before you. 
because like you, they did their best, although sometimes you may look at it and question whether they did what was best. Take inspiration from the distinguished graduate today. She is a trailblazer, a thought leader, an innovator, a disruptor of the best kind, who has contributed to improving society through her discipline and field of endeavor. Take your lead from her example. Be a positive influence to the future. Please give back to your alma mater. This university made your education possible. And as you prosper in the future, always remember from where you came. I hope that the alumni associations would reach out to you and keep you engaged with this university. This leg of your academic journey is over. You are the lights of the West. Go forth and show the rest of the world the brilliance of this region we all hold so dear. Congratulations and my very best wishes to you all. Thank you. We are met today in order that we may mark by a formal ceremony the entry of certain of our members into the company of graduates and the academic achievement of others. As a university, we are an academic society of undergraduates, bachelors, masters, and doctors. And we follow the academic tradition in the pursuit of knowledge and the encouragement of learning. Purposes laid down in the preamble to the Royal Charter by, by which we have been granted the powers needful for the prosecution of our affairs. In pursuing these aims, our members advance from time to time to a higher standing in the academic community. And it is proper that as a body, we should celebrate their achievement. It is marked by the granting of a degree, diploma, or license, or certificate. And we rejoice with our graduates on their achievements. Chancellor, I now ask the public orator, Dr. Livingston White, to present to Senator the Honorable Dr. Rosemary Moody, whom the Senate and the Council of the University have been pleased to recommend for the award of the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Chancellor, on December 12, 2018, then, Dr. Rosemary Moody passed a new bill for the books, becoming the first pediatrician and the second Jamaican-born Canadian to be appointed to the Senate of Canada, thus confirming that a post-birth twinning of careers in medical science and politics is indeed possible. Chancellor, I present Senator the Honorable Professor Rosemary Moody, Commander of the Order of Distinction. Born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica, this daughter of Allenby and Gloria Moody received her secondary education at St. Hugh's High School. One of our very own, the young Moody completed a Bachelor of Science in Zoology, Chemistry, and Physics, as well as the Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery at her own University of the West Indies. Later, she pursued postgraduate studies in pediatric and neonatal medicine at the Hospital for Sick Children, Toronto. Her proficiency continued to multiply as Professor Moody gained a Master of Business Administration in Health Organizations from the University of Toronto, 
and a Master of Public Administration in Health Policy and Governance from Queen's University, Canada. Presently, Senator Moody is Senior Neonatologist and Clinical Teacher at the Hospital for Sick Children. In 2021, she became full professor in the Division of Neonatology in the Department of Pediatrics at the University of Toronto and is a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Canada and the American Academy of Pediatrics. In her role as independent senator, Professor Moody represents Ontario on the Standing Committees of Social Affairs, Science and Technology, as well as Internal Economy, Budgets and Administration. Senator Moody has been the recipient of numerous awards nationally, regionally, and internationally. The most recent ones being the Service Medallion St. John Ambulance Award for commitment and service to the people of Canada in a COVID-19 response 2021, and the Order of Ontario 2021, the province's highest civilian honor from the government of Ontario. Despite her great achievements in the North, Professor Moody has maintained strong links to the South. In Jamaica, she serves as a board director at Scotiabank Foundation and is a member of the Standing Committee on Gender Affairs and Minorities of the Private Sector Organization of Jamaica. She has also been a consultant to some of our Jamaican hospitals and remains very active in the UWI Alumni Association Toronto chapter. A role model for young people, Professor Moody has developed educational and mentoring activities for Afro-Canadians of Caribbean descent through a student internship program, a summit conference for young health professionals, and the Rosemary Moody Ryerson Viola Desmond Staff Award all while doing substantive work in addressing women's issues. Chancellor, I invite you on behalf of the Council and Senate of the University of the West Indies to confer upon Rosemary Moody, Senator, Professor, Clinician, Pediatrician, Neonatologist and Activist, the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. I now call on Senator, the Honorable Dr. Rosemary Meeks to address the company. Thank you for your very kind introduction. Chancellor Bermudez, Vice Chancellor Beckles, Campus Principal, Deputy Principal, Pro-Vice Chancellors, Officials, deans in particular, Dean Minerva Thame, distinguished guests, faculty members, family members, and most importantly, graduating students. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Rosemary Moody. I'm a proud Pelican, a graduate of the class of 1982. And more recently, a senator representing the province of Ontario in the Senate of Canada. It is my honor to be the first to congratulate you, the class of 2022. You have persevered through extraordinary times, immense challenges, and seemingly insurmountable obstacles. We all recognize that pursuing a degree is, is certainly challenging enough but we acknowledge that in this pandemic, that would have only made things much, much more difficult for you. So when I congratulate you today, it is a very special congratulation. I recognize that you have had to overcome more than many of your predecessors. That together, each of you at times were pushed to the brink. That you bent, 
and some of you may even have broken. But you are here today, and for that, you should be extremely proud, and we are extremely grateful. Today you wind down an important chapter of your lives. Today you begin to chart a new course, to write a new chapter, and there will be much to come on this road ahead. Rest assured, you are not alone on this new journey. You have all of us. Those of us who have embarked on this journey before you, who will reach out to guide and to support you and to show you the path. Folks that you can share your experiences and your thoughts with, who will be a part of your future struggles and successes so that you can accomplish your dreams. And so, I want to start you off on this journey with some thoughts that I hope will set you on a path of excellence and success. As a graduate of the University of the West Indies, know that you are the recipient of a world-class education. You are a graduate of one of the top schools in this hemisphere and one of the best in the whole world. You are now a part of a distinguished alumni from this university. Great people who have made a great impact have walked through these hallowed halls before you. People like Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, Governor General of, of Grenada, a food scientist who graduated from UWI with her bachelor's in chemistry. People like Dr. Karen Nelson, a graduate of UWI in agriculture and animal science, who was recently appointed the Chief Scientific Officer of Thermo Fisher Scientific. People like Dr. Marceline Dalregi, the former Chief Public Health Officer of Bahamas, who was brought back to coordinate the country's fight against COVID-19. Simply put, this success proves that you have been given the foundations of a strong, successful career here at the university. Graduates, be proud. Hold your head high. Your achievement is no small thing. Be proud of where you came from and value this accomplishment. As a graduate of the University of the West Indies, I have a few stories myself. I fondly remember my experiences collecting specimens in the mangrove swamps with Professor Ronnie Young during my Bachelor of Science degree, assisting with appendectomies at KPH, learning lived anatomy with Dr. Cyril Fletcher, and performing postmortems with Professor Barry Hanchard during my medical degree. These are our world-class teachers, teachers that we are fortunate to have guided us and mentored us with hands-on and independent learning, building a strong foundation for our future careers and success in the real world. As you embark on this new journey, remember that these gifts that you have received and earned at the UWI graduate will serve you well. Commit to working towards eliminating barriers for others to access the same education. Especially important when considering the barriers young women and girls face in accessing education elsewhere in the world. And for those less fortunate who live in poverty in our midst. Remember that, life, that learning is a lifelong journey, one to be appreciated and to be enjoyed. It is my challenge to you that you take every opportunity to continue learning and growing, rounding out, expanding your knowledge, challenge yourself, and remain intellectually agile. Learning more is more than just qualifying for a job. It's about how you grow as a person, how you expand your knowledge beyond your professional pursuits, how you build your interests, how you build your capacity and your skills, those abilities that enable us to network, to connect, and to build relationships that will be valuable to us moving ahead. 
and build those experiences that add to our professional pursuits. Remember that no one has ever accomplished anything of value without taking risks, without stepping out of their comfort zone. The risk you take tomorrow will define your way. So be hungry, be ambitious, push to go as far as you believe you can go and surround yourself with people who will call you to greater. There will be days, in fact, there will be months when you may feel constantly overwhelmed. Fight through it because the result, the prize at the other side is your, of your, for your perseverance is yours to enjoy. My path to the Senate of Canada was not a linear one, not a planned journey by any means. What I did and what I recommend you do was to commit to lifelong learning. I explored new paths that presented themselves that one day perhaps might be useful. Over time, I expanded my knowledge, a master's deg a degree in business, a master's in public policy that added a new dimension to my medical career and to the philanthropic work that I had committed to doing. And I would say that probably provided me with a foundation that led me to the Senate today. It was certainly not an easy path to follow. I met with risk, I met with uncertainty, but I will never regret pushing myself to learn and to grow as a person. And I believe neither will you. Remember, as you take this new path, to honor those who were an essential part of your success. The people that you counted on to keep you going, your partners, your parents, your children. These were the people who lifted you up who carried you along, who guided you, and showed you your path. For me, that was my mother, Gloria, who taught me resilience, strength of character, and compassion, who taught me to ignore the proverbial ceiling and pushed me to reach for the stars, who enabled me. For me, also my husband, best friend, and partner, in our life's adventure together, who made all of this possible. Peter, your unending support and determination for me to realize my successes have been an important part of my story. And for me, my two sons, Nick and John, who allowed me to be that less than perfect mother, who trusted me and who loved me nonetheless, who guided me to understand how I could achieve my great. I thank you every day with every beat of my heart. As I close, I want to leave you with this thought. What the world needs from you, what we here today want from you, more than fame, fortune, and professional accomplishment, is that you continue to join in the mission of the University of the West Indies as put forward by our founding father, Sir Philip Sherlock. And I quote, to be a place of light, liberty, and learning. He believed that this institution would have the capacity to multiply opportunities for vertical mobility for West Indian peoples and for access to ownership of property increase West Indian capacity for productive use of science and technology, provide the society with a corpus of knowledge based on research, and broaden the intellectual base that universal suffrage and political independence demanded. Today, nearly three quarters of a century later, I believe that the University of the West Indies its students and its distinguished alumni are well equipped to lead the world in addressing some of the challenges we all face. 
challenges like climate change, the shifting impacts of which will continue to bring forward for our societies. Like the weakening of democratic norms and institutions throughout the world, and the need to fight autocracy and misinformation. Challenges such as the need to eradicate poverty, to eliminate disease, to build sustainable communities, and to ensure that the rights of every child are respected and that their, their well-being is assured. I believe, actually I know, that you are up to this challenge. What started here in 1948 with 33 medical students from across the region trusting this fledgling university with their hopes and their dreams continues here today. You are Orion's ex occidenti lux, a light rising from the west, and we are counting on you, and we are so excited to see what you will do. Congratulations to my fellow Pelicans, and remember, you never walk alone. Thank you. The university singers will now perform.
Chancellor. The persons whose names will be called studied in the University of the West Indies. And having fulfilled the requirements of the University of the West Indies, beg leave to be presented to you and to the Senate of the University by the representative of their faculty as Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery or Bachelors of Medical Sciences or Basic Medical Sciences or Nursing or Physical Therapy or Diagnostic Imaging or Doctor of Dental Surgery or Doctor of Pharmacy of the University of the West Indies. Sir, the Dean, Faculty of Men Medical Sciences, Professor Minerva Thiem. Sir, my colleagues and I ask you to receive as graduate members of our society these persons present who, having fulfilled the requirements of the university, have been admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery or Bachelors of Medical Sciences or Basic Medical Sciences or Nursing or Physical Therapy or Diagnostic Imaging or Doctor of Dental Surgery or Doctor of Pharmacy of this university. By the authority vested in me, I receive these persons whose names are about to be called and those who are unable to attend as graduate members of our society. Sir, for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, I present Bilal Abiyomi. Devon Allen. Anquan Anderson. Kalas Andrew. Andriano Bailey. Devon Brewster. Rohan Brown. Kiana Brown. Dimitri Brown. Jelaine Campbell. Tasha Campbell. Danielle Chambers with honors. Jordan Collington with honors. Ryan Dat. Aliana Davis with honors. Trishelle Brown with honors. Asia Butler. Brittany Bryan. Ronaldo Black. Pai Ong. Amanda Che with honors. Jodian Chong. Janelle DaCosta. Amoy Ellis.
Tiffany Francis. Maya Galindo. Myrna Garcia. Akil Gardner. Ryan Haynes. Simone Jean Maria with honors. Tresanika Brown. Ariane Jeffers. Adam Jones. Christina Jones with distinction. Andre Carr. Kemar Carr with honors. Jai Lahi. William Leon. Osini Lewis with honors. Jonathan Lowe. Ryan Moore. Lisa Morrison. Chave Morrison. Kevon Mori. Sierra Nita. Dana Palmer with honors. Danielle Phillips. Christian Edwards. Bethany Reynolds. Nikisa Servin. Justine Chong with honors. Roshan Thompson. Danielle Troop. Courtney Ann Vaughan. Brian Williams with honors. Jonathan Crooks with honors. Hannah Lee Graham. Ashley Lewis. Anna Maria Boyd. Look at, look at your phone. Justin Williams. Shimon Minot.
Jamaica foot. Michaela Green with honors. Lisanne Hilton with honors. Sue Yi. Joseph Zadi. Lucille Williams Fernandez. Stanisia Winter. Michelle Muirhead. Lenore Panton. Gabrielle Peart. Sunny Jones, Ricardo Miller, Ong Mint, Leo Lambert. Philip Thompson. Javon Henry. Aiba Powell Williamson. Aiba Powell Williamson. Cavell White. Naomi Watson. Chanel Miller with honors. Kristen Sudham. Rhea Kane. Brandon Mitchell. Ruthel Rose. Rodian Sylvester with distinction.
Nasaria Foster. Ariel McDonald. Thea Kwaku. Janelle Benjamin. Shanae Christian with honors. Jory Roberts. Shanique Davidson. Cabrina Martin. Danielle Young. Camille Tracy. Caffeine Harvey. Miguel Baker. Mika Shane Mighton. Glenicia Morgan with honors. Janelle Henry. Sherry Logan. Ashley Coulson. Jabari Morgan with honors. Stephen Longmore. Mikhail Roberts. Savannah Thompson. Joel, Joel Ann Dusil. Imani Hemmings with honors. Brianna Scarlett. Tyree Scarlett.
Daniel Tweedle. Vernique Miller. Daniel Roberts. Delano Dean. Selena Salmon. Chantel Pedler Barkley. Carlise Forrester. Joey and Janite. Anya Chuck. Carol Madhu. Mishka Chung. Shadea Lyons. Abigail Clark with honors. Matthew Roden. Kevin Fraser. Matthew Toyloy. Jonique Johnson. <laughs> Melissa Flinch. Glenric Morgan with honors. Tara Loy Bradford. Leah Hill. <laughs> Tina Shea Somerville. <laughs> Asha Lee Yap.
Hugh Lloyd Jones. Antoine Salmon. Kelsey Williams. Carla Anderson. Sonovia Snow. Jonathan Castle. Brandon Grant. Roshan Smith. Usani Hogg. <laughs> Sir, for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery from the St. Augustine campus, I present JVN from the St. Augustine campus. Javian Thomas. Sir, for the doctor, for the degree of the doctor of dental surgery, I present Olamide Odiki. Renisha Ashton. <laughs> Zara Ben Mohammed. <laughs> Zania Dawes. Chantel Edwards with honors. <laughs> Jervis Green. <laughs> Chloe Harris. Kadisha Knight. <laughs> Lois McHugh. <laughs> Denisha Prescott. Collier Reed Log. <laughs> Kareem Seawright. <laughs> 
Folisade Taylor. <laughs> Sir, for the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy, I present Nastasia Benjamin. Okelia Blair. <laughs> Abigail Boyd. Kevana Ewing. <laughs> Shante Hall. Antonio Jackson. Rasheem Kitson. Janelle McLeod. Matthew Sinclair. Julianne Smith. Joseph Walcott. Shavania Walker. <laughs> Sir, for the degree of Bachelor of Basic Medical Sciences, I present Kemoy Dixon. Nioka Eastwood. <laughs> Tiffany Edwards. Ronaldo Gale with first class honors. Bashina Henry. Kimora Lucas. Brittany Malcolm. Chanel McVoit with first class honors.
Brianna Miller with first class honors. Renice Richards with first class honors. Dean Ray Robinson with first class honors. Xavier Rochester. Rachel Scarlett. Jeffrey Thomas. <laughs> Sasha Lee Watson. <laughs> Abigail Wedderburn with first class honors. Cavell Williams. Stuart Williams. Courtney Williams. Chanel Edwards. <laughs> Josanne Lagore with first class honors. <laughs> Sir. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Diagnostic Imaging, I present Christoph Alcock with first class honors. Lacey Ann Anderson with first class honors. Antoine Chin with first class honors. Ruth Ann Cohen with first class honors. Jovian Davis. <laughs> Heidi Dixon. Celine Forrest with first class honors. Kemba Francis. Shakira Gaynor.
Joseph Gooden. Jody Ann Henry with first class honors. Norje Johnson with first class honors. Shaheen Messam with first class honors. <laughs> Renee Morris with first class honors. <laughs> Rakelia Moss. Shema Patterson. Akalia Richards with first class honors. Danielle Samuda with first class honors. Akeem Smith. Jolene Spence with first class honors. Mizan Thomas with first class honors. Jessica Thompson with first class honors. Trudy Ann Thompson with first class honors. <laughs> Sir, for the degree of Bachelor of Science Nursing, I present Alison Adamson. Angelique Anderson.
Ashley Jade Anderson. Danelia Anderson. Shireen Anderson with first class honors. Erica Atkinson. Shellyann Bailey. Anita Baker. Kadia Baker Jackson with first class honors. Kashiv Barnes. Jody Bartley. Natasha Bartley. Chanel Beadle. Patrice Beckford. Janiel Beza. Jamelia Bennett. Jehan Berry Clark. Jessica Gura Singh. Danielle Blair. <laughs> Leslie Ann Blake. Chanel Blake. Yanika Broderick. Jovian Brooks. Natoya Brooks.
Shannon Brooks Eccleston with first class honors. Crystal Brown. The Journey Brown. Deidre Brown. Janelle Brown with first class honors. Trudy Ann Brown with first class honors. Shoshonia Bryan. Amoya Buckley. Tonya Bergen. Astride Byfield with first class honors. Shadeen Cameron with first class honors. Andriana Campbell. Monique Campbell. Stacy Ann Campbell. Ashley Chambers. Zola Chaplin. Akira Charlton with first class honors. Deandra Chin. Abigail Christie. Felicia Christie. Aaliyah Clark. <laughs> Janelle Clark. <laughs> Sarah Lee Clark.
Bailey Coburn. Kimberly Constable. Alexia Cook. Keith Ann Cranston with first class honors. Chanel Crary. Jordian Dogma. <laughs> Sasha K. Davidson. <laughs> Peter Gay Davis. Sharifa Delavante with first class honors. Alinka Dillion. Antonia Dixon. Victoria Dixon. Akelia Ellis. Sania Ellis. Trudian Facey Edwards with first class honors. <laughs> Stacy Ann Evans. <laughs> Casey Ann Forbes. Shalise Forrest. <laughs> Elena Foster. <laughs> Melissa Fowler. Denora Francis. <laughs> Kawana Francis with first class honors.
Latasha Fraser. Lala, Lara Lee Gale. Christina Gordon with first class honors. Alicia Grant with first class honors. Aisha Grant. Kadisha Grant. Kamoya Grant. Monique Grant. Davia Giles. Shante Hall. Brittany Hannyford. Janelle Hansen. Shanika Hammock. Tyra Harper. Kelsey K. Harriet with first class honors. Chanel Harris. Chantal Harris Pinnock with first class honors. Brittany Horton. Akelia Henry. Fiona Hines. Trevor Joe Hines. Abigail Holness. Morgan Hilton.
Beyonce Jackas with full first class honors. Camille Jackson. Jenny Jackson. Ashima Johnson. Trofina Jones. Nikisha Kalu. Shanique Lawrence. Chanel Latouche. Crystal Laird. Alicia Lamy. Kadisha Lawrence. Antoinette Lee. Antonia Lee. Kejona Lewis. Martina Lewis. Denise Lloyd. <laughs> Vanessa Loban. <laughs> Lakeisha Locke. Monique Lockhart. Kadian Luke. Yannick Lynch. Vanessa Mays.
Tristan Maitland. Kimon Malcolm. Britannia Mason. Antona Maxwell. Shante McCarthy. Deanna McKenzie. Rochelle McCoy with first class honors. Melissa Mitchell with first class honors. <laughs> Sasha Gay McNeil. <laughs> Maurice Miller. Brittany Montgomery. <laughs> Ashley Morgan. <laughs> Crystal Morgan. Janelle Morrison. Brenda Mullings McGowan. Sandra Newsy. Alexander Parkinson. Anishka. Parish Marshall E. Parsons Christina Pinkney McIntosh with first class honors. Carodia Robinson. Latoya Robinson.
Tamara Robinson. Joanna Rose with first class honors. Trishana Rowe. Samoya Salmon. Shamika Savage. Mallory Seaton. Andrea Simpson. Karel Simpson. Sheree Sinclair. Samari Small. Sobrevesana Smith. Shemika Solan. Marissa Stewart. Yannick Thomas. Kayana Treasure with first class honors. Moesha Tracy. Chantel Wellington. <laughs> Natasha White. Fairly Valentine Whitaker. Kyra Walfall. Abigail Williams. Kadisha Williams.
Michalia William Wilson. Alexia Williams. Monique Williams. Bethune Clark Wallace. Michelle Paul. <laughs> Michelle Palmer. Laura K. Roach. Monique Dakers. Martin Sharp. Nadira Rooms. Giselle Wedderburn. Deborah Dawes. Tanil Myers. Kalia Davis. <laughs> Camille Cunningham. Amoy Newell. Sashe Douglas. Shamoya Bailey. Joel Diaz. <laughs> Britannia Brewery. Michaela Ellis. (laughs) 
Zane Mark Black Gooden. Garcia Stewart. Tamira Williams. Shanice Livermore with first class honors. Joni James. Esther Williams with first class honors. Latoya Russell. Shanoi Sims. Valerie Ann Davis. Ashley Walker. Regina Smith. Nicole Smith. Jalicia Clark. Brittany Robinson. Judith Parkinson. Georgian Thomas Hay with first class honors. Danelia Chambers Brooks. Alicia Vickers with first class honors. Vanessa Forbes. Shanika Smith. Frejanice Dawkins. Shana K. Wright. Demika Wright.
Rochelle Wright. Sir, for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, I present Felicia Cato. Daniel Frame. Jesse James. <laughs> Sir, for the bachelor, degree of Bachelor of Science, Physical Therapy, I present Chantel Brathwaite. Leonicia Bromfield. Anisha Brown. Anisia Chevan. Davia Guthrie with first class honors. Brianna Hugh. Martin Kennedy. Janae Lewis. Joshua Lo Chutong. Jeremy McIntyre. Jodian Mills. Shante Price. Veronique Roden. Trishana Roach. Meshach Samson. Amoy Scott. Yannick Seaton. Tony Townsend. <laughs> Caitlin Weatherhead.
Christian Wright. I call on the valid doctor, Dr. Dana Parker, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, to deliver the valedictory address. Chancellor, Mr. Robert Bermudez, Vice Chancellor, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles and Lady Beckles, Chairman Campus Council, Dr. the Honorable Earl Jarrett, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the UWI Mona, Professor Dale Weber and his wife, Professor Mona Weber, Deputy Principal, Professor Ian Boxill, Pro Vice Chancellors and Principals, University Registrar, Dr. Marie Smith, University Bursa, Mrs. Andrea McNeish, Campus Registrar, Dr. Donovan Stanberry, Honorary Graduate, Senator the Honorable Dr. Rosemary Moody, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the academic staff, officers and members of the university community, distinguished alumni, graduating class of 2022, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my distinct honor to give the valedictory address for the Faculty of Medical Sciences class of 2022. Take a look around. This is a class pregnant with potential, poised to be among the world's best healthcare professionals and research scientists. Congratulations. Today is the day we get to celebrate and reminisce on the lives of light and service we've led during our time here. We entered the university with a sprightly fervor, beaming smiles and bright eyes, eager to experience everything this campus had to offer. Our aim was to enjoy the journey, get involved on campus, make friends and have fun. But of course, we also kept our eyes on the light peeking out just above the horizon, representing our ultimate goal here, acquiring our degrees. Our programs were quite rigorous. Deadlines kept us on our toes, never-ending labs and tutorials kept us busy, and in the weeks leading up to exams, caffeine kept us awake. Regardless, we still found time to have a fulsome experience. That meant anything from integrating on a Thursday to serving on committees and participating in extracurricular activities such as research sports, and arts. As the future of healthcare, we've shown our passion and dedication for service. This faculty has supported many health fairs with the help of volunteers from every single program. As a group, the medicine and dentistry class presented a rousing production, Smoke and Mirrors, in aid of the Falmouth Public General Hospital. The student radiographers spearheaded their campaign entitled Violence Against Women to raise funds for women and girls facing misfortune. Our student nurses had a donation drive for a children's home and the Mona Heights Primary School. The dentistry class also had yearly outreaches to provide access to oral health care in underserved communities. And these are just a few examples of the many philanthropic projects undertaken by our graduating class. We've also bonded amongst ourselves and with our younger colleagues through events such as the Radiographers Awards Show, the Physiotherapist First Year Concert Palau, and various mentorship or sibling programs and sports days. We managed to strike an impeccable balance between our academic, social, and altruistic pursuits. And things were going pretty well for us until one fateful morning in March 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Our lives suddenly became shrouded by clouds of uncertainty which blocked out our light. 
some of us were in the clinical phases of our programs and had to adapt to online learning, but others, like our basic medical sciences, physiotherapy, and radiography students, had just begun their programs and barely had a taste of what campus life was really like. We no longer had access to our study havens, the libraries. We often found ourselves waking up just in time for online class. Some of us even developed the scale of stereoscopic vision, which is, and I quote, the ability to keep one eye on the screen and one on the stove. And let's not forget the woes of unreliable internet access and device problems, especially those pesky mic issues, particularly when the lecturer called on you by name. But despite the challenges and the distance between us, we never lost hope. Instead, we kept our focus on the light at the end of our programs, supporting each other through group study calls, sharing resources, and staying connected. We showed that even in the face of darkness and adversity, we can and will overcome, and that we did. As life became somewhat normal again, the clouds cleared, revealing embers of light. We were now faced with our final year of school, it passed quickly, culminating in either a few nerve-wracking exams spanning a week or many exams over weeks. In the end, we can truly say that the university has prepared us to become some of the best health professionals, shining our lights for all to see and working together as a unified team. Our nurses and medical interns managing patients, our physio interns rehabilitating them, or radiographers helping to confirm diagnoses with scans, or clinical pharmacists dispensing the therapeutic agents of today, or research scientists publishing exciting new discoveries, and our dentists keeping everyone's smiles brilliant behind those N95s. It took us three, four, five, or even more years of sacrifice, hard work, and personal struggles to get here. Yet still, here we are, and for that, we should all be proud and extremely grateful. Now is the perfect time to acknowledge the village surrounding us that made this possible. We must thank our academic and administrative staff, our families, mentors, and the lifelong friends who became our family. We're grateful to everyone who played an integral part in our journey and our ultimate success. Unfortunately, along the way, we've lost some of our peers to illness. Students and faculty alike mourned their passing. Their memory and light will remain with us all. And now, it is time to look ahead to what our future holds. Although we started our programs at different times, Today, we all leave as one healthcare team, one class of 2022, one MedSci. As we launch forward into our new careers, let us be reminded of the lessons we learned during our time here. In the face of adversity, never lose hope. In the darkest corridors of life, be the light, and never forget your dedication to serving others. Whether we're moving forward to employment or to further studies, remember these tenets, and this is how we'll shape the future of healthcare. What lies behind us are our failures and successes, and what lies ahead of us are potential challenges and even greater successes, opportunities to shine our light. We should be proud of all we've accomplished so far and get excited about what's destined to come next. But remember that all of it pales in comparison to the brilliance of the light already within us. How apt, then, is our school motto, Oriens ex occidente lux, which means a light rising from the West. As UE Pelicans, each of us represents this light rising from the West. So as we leave here today and lead our respective lives, let us remember that which lies within us. Let us all be a beacon of light and service. Congratulations to you all again, and thank you.
sir. I now call on Professor Marcia Roy, Director, Graduate Studies and Research, to present to you members of our society for the award of higher degrees. Sir, sir, I present to you these members of our society who, having fulfilled the requirements of the university, have been awarded postgraduate diplomas or have been admitted to the master's degree and beg that you recognize their advancement in our society. By the authority me, on those persons whose names are about to be called and those who are unable to attend postgraduate diplomas and master's degrees of this university and recognize their advancement in our society. Salome Cadogan. <laughs> Glester Bell, with distinction. <laughs> Andrea Fagan. Camelia Bryan. Anjali Maraj. Shani Duncan. Martina Penaman Wilson. <laughs> Sir, for the Masters of Public Health, I present Kareen Reed. Sir, for the Masters of Public Health Gerontology, I present Delphine Edwards. Denise Henry Brown. Adrian Thompson. <laughs> Sir, for the Masters of Public Health, Health Education, and Health Promotion, I present Sharon Blair Pusey. Monique Hope, with distinction. <laughs> Candice Edwards. <laughs> Sir, for the Masters of Science Biomedical Research, I present Roshana Gibbs. Zoe Gordon, with distinction. <laughs> Sir, for the Masters of Science Epidemiology, I present Fritz Francis, with distinction. <laughs> Sabrina Tracy Cook, with distinction. Sir, for the Masters of Science, Forensic Science, I present Hosea Bailey, yeah. 
Ian Francis with distinction, Vanessa Griffiths with distinction, Carla Henson, Jada Lee Mitchell with distinction. Shay Vernon with distinction. Sir, for the Masters of Science, Medical Microbiology, I present Alir Daly. Sir, for the Masters of Science Nursing, I present Kaleem Abdul Kareem. Sharika, Sharika Blake. Simone Brown. Jillian. Evans Johnson, Deandra Facey, Olichuko Ekezwe, Apollon Smith with distinction. Christine Smith with distinction. Nadine Sweeney. Sir, I present to you these members of our society who haven't fulfilled the requirement of this universe. They have, ad have been admitted to the degree of doctor of medicine and beg that you recognize their advancement in our society. Names are about to be called and those who are unable to attend the degree of Doctor of Medicine and recognize their advancement in our society. Sir, for the Doctor of Medicine, Anesthesia and Intensive Care, I present Yinka Bernard. <laughs> Melissa Lindo. Fabian Mears. I For the Doctor of Medicine in Hematology and Medical Oncology, Lauren Boudou. Jamie Lee Foot. Latoya Reed. The Doctor of Medicine, Internal Medicine. Melissa Authors. Andre Williams. Angela Wright. Sir, for the Doctor of Medicine, Obstetrics and Gynecology.
Lana Chang. Theophilus Nelson. Robin Parkins. Tiffany Watson. Doctor of Medicine, Pediatrics, Krishana Bent, Don Clayton. Rayon Dyer. Nang Lin. Stacy Lee Peart. Samantha Powell Doctor of Medicine Psychiatry Antoinette Campbell Ken Kenal Lalwani <laughs> Johnny Gay McCleary Doctor of Medicine, Surgery, Karen Cooley, Dave Marshall, Matthew Garrell Wallace, Wallace, <laughs> Doctor of Medicine, Urology, Colette Antoine. I'm not hearing, okay. So, I present to you these members of our society who having fulfilled the requirements of this university, 
have been admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and beg that you recognize the advancement in our society. So, for the Doctor of Philosophy, I present Beverly Blake Scarlett in nutrition. Congratulations. Tiffany Butterfield. I reckon. Sasha K. Clark. Nice your our society. Congratulations. Kenroy Wallace. With high commendation, Isaac Morrison. I will now call on the president of the UWI Alumni Association, Jamaica Chapter, Mr. Dwayne Haynes, to lead the graduates in reciting the Alumni Pledge. Good evening to all. It is my distinct pleasure to invite the graduating class of 2022 to stand and recite together the UWI Alumni Pledge which can be found on page 98 of the graduation program. Whilst you locate the pledge, I would like to officially welcome you to the UWE alumni family. I invite you to become engaged alumni who show Pelican pride and are involved in the life of the campus as guest speakers, supporters of sports and hall events, mentors, recruiters, promoters, and advocates of the university, and much more. Let us now begin to say the pledge together. As a graduate of the University of the West Indies, I commit myself to uphold the ideals and goals of my alma mater. My conduct and voice shall reflect the commitment to excellence of the light rising from the West as I fulfill my social and professional responsibilities and serve my community and region. I will strive to ensure the U.S. place as a Caribbean icon the catalyst for Caribbean development and leadership. It is a legacy that I will help proudly build for future generations. The UWE, first in our hearts and first in our region. Heartiest congratulations to all. Thank you. The university singers will now lead us in the university song. Please all stand.
the public ceremony by which the University of the West Indies has signaled the awards of degrees, diplomas, and certificates to its graduates. The company will now disperse, but not before permitting me to escort our specially invited guests and allowing the procession to leave. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>